An Introduction to the Human Body Systems. Hello, this is Mrs. Sanchez. By the end of this homework video, you will be able to demonstrate understanding that there are different systems within the body and that they work independently and together to form a functioning human body. You will also be able to show understanding of homeostasis. We have already studied that cells make up body tissues, tissues make up organs, and organs are part of an organ system, for example, the circulatory, respiratory, and so on. It is important to remember that organ systems do not work in isolation. They work together as part of a big team. Here is an introduction to the major organ systems. The circulatory system is the body's transport system, delivering materials through the body, including blood, gases, and wastes. A network of tubes called blood vessels are connected to the heart that pumps the blood through this network of blood vessels. The heart is the hardest working muscle in the body, pumping nearly two gallons of blood daily. The digestive system provides the way to break down food and absorb nutrients that our body needs to grow, move, and maintain homeostasis or balance. The digestive system is made up of a series of tube-like organs converting our meals into body fuel. There's about 30 feet of these pipeworks starting with the mouth and ending in the anus. The endocrine system consists of glands that release chemicals known as hormones into the bloodstream. Hormones regulate many body functions such as metabolism, growth, and reproduction. The immune system is a network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to protect the body from infection. Its main function is to prevent or limit infection. Here we have a phagocyte encircling an offending bacteria. The integumentary system consists of skin, hair, nails, glands, and nerves. Its main function is to act as a barrier to protect the body from the outside world. It also functions to retain body fluids, protect against disease, eliminate waste products, and regulate body temperature. Skin is the body's largest organ, and it's the first line of defense. The lymphatic system is a network of tissues and organs that primarily consists of lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and lymph. Its primary function is to transport lymph, a clear colorless fluid containing white blood cells that helps rid the body of toxins, waste, and other unwanted materials. Lymph nodes are an important component of the body's immune system and help in fighting infection. The muscular system is made of muscle tissues in the body working together, enabling us to move, pump blood, digest food, and lift heavy things. There are three different types of muscle tissue. Skeletal muscle, which is attached to bones, smooth muscle, including involuntary muscles like in the digestive organs, arteries and veins, stomach and intestines, and cardiac, which is the heart muscle. The nervous system is the part of the body that monitors and responds to changes in the environment. This complex system is responsible for functions as basic as controlling your heartbeat and telling us it's time to eat or time to go to the bathroom. The brain and spinal cord make up the central nervous system. Pairs of nerves outside of the central nervous system are known as the peripheral nervous system. At the cellular level, we have neurons. The respiratory system involves the lungs, is responsible for the exchange of gases essential for the body and all its cells, the most important of which is the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide that happens with each breath in the lungs. We breathe in the air around us and we exhale carbon dioxide. The urinary system removes waste from the blood, just like a filter would remove waste from an aquarium. The urinary system also removes excess water and salts. The kidneys do most of this work. The skeletal system provides shape and support for the body. Without it, we would be a shapeless mass of cells. The skeletal system is made of 206 bones, cartilage, and ligaments. It also produces bone marrow from inside the bone. The reproductive system is a collection of organs that work together for the pur purpose of producing a new life. Homeostasis. We know that the various body systems work hand in hand to keep us in healthy balance. Homeostasis is defined as the body's regulation of steady, life-maintaining conditions. Body temperature example. A good example of system regulation of your body can be found in the regulation of body temperatures. You are a homeo endothermic organism, which means you regulate your own body temperature. Other species like reptiles are not homeo endothermic. Anyway, 
If your body gets too cold, a series of actions are taken to warm your body. Sensors throughout your nervous system can recognize when the temperature drops and might trigger your muscular system to start shivering. The constant contractions of your muscles allow heat to be generated. Your nervous and endocrine systems may also contract the blood vessels of your circulatory system to keep blood in the core of your body and not the extremities, like your fingers. Organ systems working together. The various organ systems work together to maintain homeostasis. An example is how the skeletal and respiratory systems work together during breathing. When the skeletal muscles and the diaphragm contract, enlarging the chest cavity, air is drawn into your lungs. This makes it possible for gas exchange to occur, the respiratory system's primary function. So let's try this. Take a deep breath. Observe your chest movement. What did you notice? If your ribs were broken, how would this affect your breathing? To provide oxygen and remove carbon dioxide for your body, both the respiratory and your muscular system are working together. Why do we need to know this? You are all asking me this. Why? Understanding the body systems is necessary so we can figure out that to do uh, what to do when things go wrong. More amazing is how all your, your body systems work together to keep you healthy and allow you to do what you do. Can you think of other ways organ systems work together? I know you can. So now please think about what we just talked about and answer all of your questions and submit your homework. Good night. Made with DoodleCast Pro.